Hello everyone, thanks for the intro. My name is Jack Parker, CEO and co-founder of Ayatella. So I'm actually going to focus this all in for a second with a pretty hard truth. One in three of us in this room, in this venue, in this world, will die prematurely from a cardiovascular disease as it stands today. The good news is, if we detect these diseases early with medical imaging, 80% of these premature deaths are actually preventable. So why are people still dying? That's the question that was asked by Scott's family. I'm going to tell you Scott's story. When he was 49 years old, he started to have some niggling chest pain. So he went to see his doctor, who sent him for a CT scan. He was sent home after that scan and told to await results. Three weeks later, still waiting for those results to come through, he was on his way to work and bang. Scott had a heart attack. Thankfully, he did wake up in the hospital surrounded by his family who all had multiple questions, understandably. Scott had had the scan three weeks earlier, which would have provided the answer, which would have prevented this heart attack from happening in the first place. Why wasn't that scan read in time? Why didn't we prevent this life-changing and potentially life-ending event? Let's look into the problem. In the UK alone, over 130,000 images, new images are taken every single day. That number actually increases 10% year on year, whereas the workforce, the people, trained people, trained to interpret these images is only increasing 3% year on year. So the discrepancy is very clear. But ultimately, it's the patients that suffer, as we saw with Scott, with wait times up to 18 weeks. Meanwhile, by the way, these, these diseases are continuing to develop whilst waiting. So Scott's scan had joined the line and one of the biggest bottlenecks in healthcare today. But what's really causing that bottleneck is the analysis of the scans themselves. This analysis is manual, time consuming and requires specialist clinicians or physicians to do so. And even in 2024, these clinicians are using a computer mouse to make click and drag measurements to diagnose people. So now it starts to become clear what's actually taking so long to process a scan. That's, it was, this is where Ayatala comes in. We automate those most time consuming, complex and variable parts of scan analysis, ultimately measurements. By doing so, we enable healthcare providers to process more patients in less time with higher precision, delivering personalized and precision medicine to each and every person. And these are not just words. We've demonstrated this in studies with the NHS and now with our international partners in the US, India, and now in EU, that our AI is more precise, it's more reliable, and it's over 100 times faster than current process, uh, sorry, current practice in processing these images. So we've solved the problem, right? I can go home, I've done my job. Not quite. The analysis that I'm talking about is for patients that are already sick, such as Scott. However, I believe, and I'm sure you would agree, prevention is better than cure. But barriers to prevention are the same as they are today. The time it takes, capacity restrictions, we don't have enough staff. Radiology is at breaking point, healthcare is crippling. But with AI, if we increase the productivity with automation, we can increase capacity and actually enable a shift from reactive healthcare, as it is today, to preventative healthcare. And that's our mission at Ayatollah. And if I can ask you as a call to action, please come by the Maria 01 booth afterwards to see preventative medicine in action and get your own stroke screening free. But this is the mission. With Ayatollah, with AI and with automation, we're solving the problems of today to prevent the diseases of tomorrow. That is why we're here. That's why the team is here. That's why our advisors are here. That's why the clinicians are supporting us to do this. They recognize the problem, they realize that we have a solution, and they believe in tomorrow. But for me, it's slightly more personal. I'm doing it for the one in three. I'm doing it for people like Scott, because Scott is my father. Thank you very much for listening.